Hi everyone, in this short tutorial I'm going to walk you through how to install and initialize Mark Logic on the Mac OS X operating system. So the first thing that you would need to do is go out to the developer community site and download the latest version of Mark Logic, which you can see I've placed right here on my desktop. Now don't worry if you're using a more recent version, that's okay. Um, this video is captured and the current version was Mark Logic 908. But the instructions for setup and installation are going to be similar. So open up this DMG file and then run the MarkLogic package installer and follow the prompts to go ahead and install MarkLogic. If prompted to authenticate, go ahead and provide the credentials that will allow you to install software on this machine and proceed. And once the installation is complete, then the next step is to start the MarkLogic service, which automatically you can see that this popped up here and prompted me to go ahead and start the server. However, if you ever need to do this at a later date, you can always access this interface by going through System Preferences on your Mac, and then you'll see MarkLogic listed down there on the screen. So go ahead and start the MarkLogic server instance. And then the next thing that we need to do is initialize this new instance. And to do that, go ahead and open up a web browser and go out to the admin interface, which you can find on localhost colon 8001. And this will sense that this is a brand new installation here. And it's now going to prompt you to initialize the host, which will create some of the initial databases and application servers that will be associated with your instance. So go ahead and click OK to continue through this process. Now you'll be prompted to determine whether or not you wish to join a cluster. If you're trying to group multiple machines together into a cluster, it's really easy. You would have just simply entered the name of the other host that you'd like this host to join up with. However, as is often the case with installing MarkLogic on a local machine that is indicative of your development environment, usually you're just going to be acting as a single instance in that scenario. So for us, we'll go ahead and click Skip. MarkLogic ships secured, which means when you set up and initialize your host, you need to secure it in order to do anything in the instance. That means we must create our administrator account. And so here we can do so. I'm going to use a very simple username and password for this example. MarkLogic also has advanced encryption, which means you can encrypt your data, your log files, your configuration files, and MarkLogic can integrate with third-party key stores to help you manage that encryption. We also ship with an out-of-the-box key store that you can use in case you do not have some third-party key store in your enterprise, in which case you'll need to set up that out-of-the-box key store that we provide by configuring your wallet credentials for that key store. So I'm going to add one last credential here in case I wish to use encryption. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And when this process completes, MarkLogic Server is now fully initialized on this host and it's ready for us to use. And everything that we do from here on out requires us to authenticate. And there we go, MarkLogic Server is now up and running on this machine. 